Hey all, Ron here from Military Images Magazine with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. Today I was contacted by a friend of mine. He's an author and a fellow researcher looking for some help on tracking down some general orders that were published by the Adjutant General's Office of the War Department in 1865. So I plunged in, I went down the rabbit hole, I searched Google Books, archive.org, looking for these orders, and I found a few of them, but not all of the ones that he was looking for. And as I was going through these old volumes on Google Books and archive.org, I found a great little volume of general orders that were distributed throughout uh, Arkansas, the state of Arkansas, as they were coming from Washington in 1865, those final months of the war. And one of those orders was written by the man here, Ulysses S. Grant, and it's his General Orders 108. It's a fascinating document for a couple of reasons. First, if you're, if you're a fan of Grant and you followed his writings, you can see a trajectory as he evolves from the early part of the war where his writing is a little clunky. He gets the meaning across, but it's, the language is a little tangled up. By the end of the war, he's writing with such clarity. He's writing these concise orders. He's communicating to his army subordinates. He's including communicating to the commander in chief and other civilian leaders. The writing is just, it's almost perfect prose uh, and it's wonderful to read. So that's one reason why I'm enamored with General Order 108. The other reason is that beauty of language that Grant has mustered by that time is echoed in this letter that he's written to the troops thanking them for four years of war. And he states in no uncertain terms the outcome of the war and the cause of the war. So if you think of Grant as that uh, quiet person who barely speaks, it sort of conjures up this man who doesn't have much to say. The opposite is true. He has a lot to say. So let me read this to you and let it speak for itself. So here we go. General Orders Number 108, War Department, Adjutant General's Office, Washington, D.C., June 2nd, 1865. Soldiers of the Armies of the United States, by your patriotic devotion to your country in the hour of danger and alarm, your magnificent fighting, bravery, and endurance, you have maintained the supremacy of the Union and the Constitution overthrown all armed opposition to the enforcement of the laws and of the proclamation forever abolishing slavery, the cause and the pretext of the rebellion, and open the way to the rightful authorities to restore order and inaugurate peace on a permanent and enduring basis on every foot of American soil. Your marches, sieges, and battles in distance, duration, resolution and brilliancy of result, dim the luster of the world's past military achievements and will be the patriot's precedent in defense of liberty and right in all time to come. In obedience to your country's call, you left your families and homes and volunteered in its defense. Victory has crowned your valor and secured the purpose of your patriot hearts and with the gratitude of your countrymen and the highest honors a great and free nation can accord, you will soon be permitted to return to your homes and families, conscious of having discharged the highest duty of American citizens. To achieve these glorious triumphs and secure to yourselves, your fellow countrymen and posterity, the blessings of a free institution, tens of thousands of your gallant comrades have fallen and sealed the priceless legacy with their lives. The graves of these, a grateful nation, bedews with tears, honors their memories, and will forever cherish and support their stricken families. 
U.S. Grant, Lieutenant General. Wow. What a moving, moving order. Not much else to say. So there you have it. U.S. Grant's General Order 108, June 2nd, 1865. Until next time, we'll see you on the trail.